The next match is going in now anyway. Prepare for rivals. They changed their special units. It would have been between Woodcutter and Mephelator. <laughs> I'd, I'm pretty like we can see both what both teams have on this screen, but they can't see what the enemy team's got. They can only see on this screen what people have got low, like what unit classes they are. Like on a normal siege, they shouldn't be able to see anything. Unless they've got people watching. Oh, let me fucking type OBS. Right. So, Surf Slayers have got a lot of cavalry out on this defense. And because there's not going to be any time to see any... We'll wait until it loads in then, I'll say. Not not, not that something kicks off or whatever. Ah, because, yeah, Tom's is saying as well, because it depends if the break between games is long enough, they could see it on Twitch stream. And there were two crashes. You are... Yeah, yeah. That's something that CB will have to look into, I think. Right, so nobody's crashed, so I can talk about what uh, Surf Slayers did. Why is this not... There we go. So what Surf Slayers did to us when we scrimmed against them <laughs> was they started with melee infantry, so it looks like they're not going to sally out, and then they go to the supply point and get full cav out, which they've done, and then they sally out. Good treb, though. Very good treb, though. 23 units. They've pulled back though, I think. Surf's have. Blame Elias charged in with, I think it was Winged Assars as well. Artillery going off. I think Blame Elias have stopped this, this sally out though, so they're gonna they're gonna be happy with that. Oh, they've got the Arbalist. Uh, the Arbalist. Yeah, it is Arbalist, isn't it? With the bloody Chevaliers. They already got a cheeky boy up on the uh, cheeky two boys up on A as well. Didn't even see those guys climb. But they, like, look at how much, look how many claymores they've got as well. Interesting. Ninety six units lost, mainly cavalry. So that's probably going to hurt them more than the hundred and six that uh, Blame Elias just died. Died with. Although they were lost actual units as well. They only had two units of Martels by the looks of it, and a unit of Village Watchmen. One is that Martels on here. Oh, that's palace guards. Okay, so the gate's down. Blame Elias are through. They're already on. How aggressive a Blame Elias, man. Zero shits given. They're going in, man. Yeah, good good, good counter. Like, yeah. Made them fall back. Why not keep the harassment up? And because the thing is as well, a lot of the units that um, Surfs have got is all Outriders, so they don't have a front line. They have to fall back. They can't take a fight, otherwise they get absolutely ruined. <clears throat> yeah, Tomsky is saying that they changed strats and stuff, but I swear, like, we scrimmed against Surf Slays, and that was the exact strat they did against us, what they did against, um, what's, what they did against Blame Elias. The only difference is when they did it against us, they had cataphracts out. So when they jumped down the back staircase here, they just toed with cataphracts and they just run through. Just murked stuff. So, I don't know how long that took, but they actually had an engagement, but took A and B incredibly quickly. Like, incredibly quickly. Uh, the attackers have got five sets of Modawao. They've got a couple of IPGs, couple four sets, five sets of Palace Guards as well, an Army Gear. And a shield. No flames though, interestingly. I wonder if Lazy Imperator's gonna get flames out before they do the push. He is on the resupply. He does have flames out. Kicker Senetic as well also has flames out. 
The defenders have got a lot of claymores. Still got a lot of cavalry. The Kalian two sets, they've got their flames out as well. They still have a wedge of cataphracts though in the background. So what they did with us was they waited for us to push. Went in with their, their infantry basically. And then just fucked off with their heroes. Get their cavalry in and just come from every direction. And there's just nothing you can do about it. You just get absolutely pile drive. Especially here, look, they've only got what two, three sets of anti-cav. You cannot con you cannot hold every single angle with those three sets of anti-cav. Modal don't stop cataphracts anyway, and the IPGs can only walk in one direction. And I assume this they'll do something similar on this one. I right, saw so what blame Elias gonna do, and thanks Ukaz and Katana, Katana Kos. Thank you both for the follows. Much appreciated, my guys. Right. 15 minutes left of the match. 15 minutes until the next match starts. It's perfect timing. <laughs> Even with disconnects and everything, it still worked out. Right. F the cab incident for you. Or she, Stewie. Is that blame Elias are going to make it at least look like they're going to go straight from the south? No, they are going in. No messing about here. Look straight into the Outriders. They can't get any of their shots off. Good shout, that. They basically lost, lose nothing. And kill pretty much a full unit of Outriders. Surf Slaves are already starting to move with cavalry. Blame Elias are going to go up onto the top here. What unit was up here? Zakalian. So they're probably going to get rid of this Zakalian. They're going to get rid of a couple of the heroes as well. Blame has been very clever with their engagements so far. Yeah, taking step by step rather than just a full charge. And taking every fight where they know they're going to win as well. Ooh, the Zakalians there are going to... That was so lucky that only one of those hit. And it didn't even kill a unit, did it? Oh, that second one did though. <laughs> Flames here from Dark Flames doing work. They need to get jumped on by Blame Elias. I think they just got bombed by Shinjis. Or was that Zakalian? The attacker's flames on the side here as well. Try to shoot like round the corner. They've got a good setup on the back to block cavalry. Been over the top here. There's more cavalry from this side. Cataphracts they're going to go through now, look. Cataphracts from the other side at the same time. And I think from this side as well. No. Okay. Surf Slayers have lost four heroes. Blame Elias... Two. The flames here are doing work. Five, five. And here comes the overwhelming cab from Surf Slayers. Holy shit, they've just pretty much wiped them. Look, they've got some guys up on the wall here about to jump off. They've got a lot on the resupply. That's exactly what they did to us. It's like, I, don't, I didn't even see, even though I knew it was going to happen, I didn't see them swap to all of that cab. And then they just come from everywhere. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. It is mental. And the timing they have on when they do it as well is just disgusting. So they've lost 361 units to 452. I'm pretty sure if I get a look at the hero deaths. 17 and 11 is actually fairly even so far. It is in Surf Slayer's favour though. Look at all the cav though, man. And they can, because cav's so quick, they can literally just choose where they want to come from. It doesn't make a difference really. And they got like a, they got a couple of units of like normal infantry that are, are going to be able to hold the line a little bit. But it's the cav that win it for them, man. Sally the goose. Blame Elias can still win though. The mad thing is though, the amount of cavalry that Surf Slayers have got, and they've still got 900 units on the field. That is mental. Because Blame Elias have definitely got less cav, and they're on 700 units. All these guys up here are all playing cavalry. They can just run down where they need to, push two with their cataphracts, and the cataphracts just run from wherever they are. That nurkin stuff. Although they've changed again to the same setup. And they've sent a lot of the cataphracts back again. You still there, Bob? I am, mate. Sorry, I was enjoying the fight too much. <laughs> 
I thought you disconnected. I was like, no, 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 because like, you know, Surf Slayer's obviously shown why they are one of the best, but Blame Lice's tactics are still solid. It's yeah. just how do you counter a, a tidal wave? You just can't. Especially for because on this point as well, the mad thing is you've got three entrances basically to get in, and if like what Surfs do is they time it where they they basically. There'll be like a massive push of cavalry from this side and you have to turn and face it, right? And then most of your anti-cav will be on this side and then they'll just come from everywhere else. And it's just like, how the hell do you deal with it? Yeah. They've got, yeah look, we, they're, sl we, they're slowly swapping to better cavalry again now. You, you see what one cav in the rear does. So if you get two or three, it's just... Or, or 15. So they're going or for the resupply <laughs> with, with all of their heroes again. This wedge of cavalry could just clear this off though. What are they doing? They're doing something similar to what Surfs just did, but Rabba might get caught here. Rabo didn't get caught, Soul did though. So they've lost the hero. They've got the walls up here. Blame Elise do have more infantry. There's still 10 minutes left on the game as well. These uh, Zakalian are going to die. Only four of them anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, Elias got caught out there. I was like, who was that then? He, he died before I could close in. Lamb the Alex might die as well because he's stacked on by multiple enemy heroes. Is a short sword though. She should be able to survive a little bit. The dodges, man. How much else has he got? Is he going to get off the wall? No, he's not getting away from that. Blame Elias are back on the supply back here. But they've dropped four heroes. So I don't know. Oh, they got rid of Shenji's in the back though. So they've got rid of, a, rid of a couple of specialist units, to be fair. They've still got eight minutes left. However, Surfs are pushing out on the bottom here as well. This hero's just wiping units. Here. Elias are down to eight heroes. I don't know if Mr. Top going in there is a good idea, though. So he's, got, he's got back up now. From Cinetic, Deja Vu, and Soul. Like a 4 5 man on this side as well for Blame Elias. So it's 10 versus 12. I don't know if Surf Slayer should be pulling back from these fights though and setting up again. They've got time on their side. They don't need to be wasting like Palace Guards for this for basically no reason. The Wedge of Caviar in the safe zone. Is that unit there? That's not in the safe zone, is it? No, IPGs. Mask Flames left the battle. Is that not the bloody Surf Slayer team captain? I wonder if he can rejoin if he disconnected. He should be able to. Yeah, yeah, If it will load you in as you would normal Siege when rejoining. Right, so Blame Elise are making their big push now. The match has been going on too long as well, so it didn't make a difference as the disconnect. They're not allowed to restart, I don't think. It's been going on too long. Blameless are already trebbing the back gate there. Nothing's going to come through, so that's going to be a wasted treb. Surfs are going to wait until they're basically on. Kalashnikov's already in the background with his cavalry look, or he's looking. Es yeah, there you go. So there's cavalry moving now. Esponja's moving now. Kara's moving now. Fight going off in the corner here. Ooh. Blame Elise are already on that strongly, though. Blame Elise are going to get a good few kills here. Have they got ult to block this? No. All facing in the wrong direction, so the cab that just came through is going to do work. That could be a very good treb, though. There's fights going off on the left here as well. Oh, they missed that treb, though. I'm going to have a quick gand over here. So there's a little fight going off in the, the alleyway. The Blame Elise had guys set out to try and stop the flanks coming off. Armiga charge there doing work. Shenji's up on the top, but Surf Slayer's doing work. I take it the hero that had those Shenji's is getting a new unit. Surf's lucky with that Treb again, man, that it only like flipped the unit. Blame Elias are winning though. 10 8 heroes. You've got Kalashnikov coming around with his cataphracts though. So he's going to be in a good position to clear this. And Blame Elias don't have really units there at the minute, which is a problem. The Madao though could do work. Good treb. 
Yeah, I think Surf Slayers have stopped Yeah, they've stabilised. And now they've got double units. So, fight going on back here. So, Rock Sword just died. A couple of Madao try to block back exit. But Cataphracts can actually just run straight through Madaos. I think Surf's have got it, though. The placement of the Trebs for Blame Elias were all very good. They were just unlucky, I feel, I feel that most of them just weren't really landing, like, flush on units. You kind of have to have a unit that you're willing to sacrifice the risk of being Trebs. The pin stuff, yeah, yeah. yeah. They've got multiple blocking back here. I think Surfs are on the attack now, though. They don't care. Blame Elias have got some bits down here set up. Still five Trebs for the attackers. Surf Slayers have got, what, three, three sets of Cataphracts out. They've got a couple of Chevaliers out, a couple of Outriders out, a couple of Trash Infantry as well, just to tap it. Is Mask Flames back in, actually? He's not dead anymore, so he is in, yeah. That just shows as well. I don't think he was in the fight when that fight kicked off, yet Surf still managed to hold on. 14 dudes. Well. Yeah. So Elias are coming in for their last push basically now. Time wise they would have enough, but unit wise not. This is this is the last chance. That treb could be very good. Obviously gonna hit just mainly trash in this line though, but very good push there. DK DK was with the Shenges, jumped straight off to try and get specialist units, I think. Obviously, him as a no is going to be a tank for days. I think it's just all Surf Slayer units. Here comes another cab charge from behind. Look, another cataphract with a two key. GG, man. Look at him. Look at him go. Getting absolutely swarmed. Disgusting. This is literally what they did to us. And the mental thing is when we scrimmed against them as well, we had so much. Um, we had so many Fort Brachios, Madao, and IPGs. And we thought, even if they come with cav spam, there's no way they can they can stop it. But only IPGs really, and when they're walking, stop a cataphract uh, two key. And like once you've done it once, or like you've got two of them going in one direction, or even two directions, the third one's wide open, and they stagger their charges. They don't all come in at the same time. They come in at different times. They just there's nothing you can do. Yeah, and unfortunately, you won't get 15 staggered IPG. I PG marks, um, walks, like people just panic unfortunately when they're in a, a massive brawl. Yeah, but to, to counter basically 15 cavalry what they had, you would need 15 IPGs. And then it might yeah. be possible to stop it, but it's going to be difficult. But, uh, no, but what I'm saying is, is if you're in a brawl, you would normally always have two of your pikes walk to try and stop a cab. So that means yeah. that there's always going to be one or two cab charges that doesn't get walked and that's the difference on turning it yeah yeah and when there's like this this is like when there's this many cav though out at one and if you do come with a block of ipgs they still add decent units they could like they've still got zakalian and shenjis and stuff to just like bomb the shit out of you they'd still go oh, in man. with the heroes because ipgs are pretty bad at killing heroes that's why that's why they are one of the best teams in here by You know, like, although they don't look like they're moving as a team, actually everything they're doing is just Sporty. fluent. Yeah. I think it's definitely improved from last season. Because last season they were, they, they were, you could see they were doing the same thing. It just wasn't as well timed as it is. Like, it was just like, milli, like milliseconds or seconds off. Whereas this time now, when, they, when, they, when they're swarming from everywhere, it just seems to be spot on like when they screamed against us it was just disgusting like we was like what the hell is going on <laughs> you could see it like it was like we, we had all the right units as well it felt like we had the right units and there was just nothing you could do especially like we were we were fighting in this area like a shit you not we were here we had like a massive blob we had uh, a couple of fort of brachio or like a fort brachio on Madao blocking this back entrance with like palace guards and flames or something and we had like everything on point and we was like, we've got this. And then all of a sudden, the cavalry just came from everywhere. It's like it just appeared. It was like magic cavalry. You know, you know, Lord of the Rings, the fucking the the undead. 
the the fucking yeah. ghost things. It felt like that. There was nothing you could do. Cataphracts just come from everywhere with a two key on, just literally phasing through everything, just murdering it. And you're like, what is going on? This 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 is mental. But that's that's because like it's not just that they get cab out and just charge you. They draw you in to where they want you before they bring their yeah. cab. So and, it, it's fair credit to them. They they have their tactic no down to a T. Um, it's a ballsy tactic though as well. They literally let you get on point. They let you push here, and then when you're here, they just swarm from everywhere. It's mental. Ballsy tactic because if, you, if they get stopped there and the enemy are already on your point, it's it's completely GG. But then I think they've shown it, and if 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 they're scrimming against teams that you know let's be honest love and devotion as defense was solid yeah i think it was so solid though because we fought against them like in a, in a scrim they look in every engagement apart from this one look there's an engagement there in between where where elias did better oh that was just before the end look where it looked like they'd cleared them off and then they just started spawning back in and then just murked them hero kills 42 to 30 wasn't like ridiculous like we've seen in other battles as well but that's, that's the thing, like, although we're talking about, like, Blameless wasn't bad in this fight in any way or form. They they were organised, they moved as one, they they were solid, but Surf Slayer's just 